Dad, we we're just gonna ask you a couple questions about some cool stories. Yeah. Get them on film so we could have them for a long time. Okay. Uh, so the first request, the most popular request, is the Mooney stories. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, number one, this is on a Friday, and we've had the whole family here, and I've been be discussing different things about, you know, family and everybody else, and, and Alex is, and Tracy have asked me to sort of give a couple of stories, so maybe we can pass down to, to, to grandchildren, you know, and so forth, and. And I, hopefully it will be passed on. And number one, uh, I have some other stories, but I'm going to hit the few that he's asked me. Uh, I, I, I was the only Jewish fellow playing football in the eighth grade. And, uh, and, and this was in Boston. And I really wasn't, uh, there, was, there wasn't too much love uh, about people that were Jewish at the time. But I went to play and I was terrible for about three practices. And the fourth practice, uh, you know, I, I became, uh, I, I was getting hit by somebody and he was a halfback and he actually threw the ball at me. I went ahead and I actually uh, sort of went over to him and I picked him up upside down and I banged him in his head. He had a helmet, banged him on the ground. I guess it was before the concussion rules. Before the concussion rules. That would happen. Uh, then the coach uh, had two guys to block. I still got him. And this wasn't this wasn't Mooney. This guy, guy named was Mahoney, and Mahoney was the best friend of Mooney's. And and then came the third. They had they had three people trying to stop me. I still got Mahoney. Fourth guy, I got him. Fifth time, I couldn't get him. And then and then at that time, for for the team, my name was changed to Adam. Uh, and then I played first string for the whole game. Um, and as far as uh, Mooney, Mooney would always make comments and everything and he uh, and uh, then what happened after this incident with the football situation uh, I, I had no problems with it with the whole crowd um, but what I'd like to do for a, a second I would like to sort of sort of change it a little bit and I want to get something which I think is one of my best stories it's about my my grandfather on my father's side his name was Dr. Barnett Berry and uh, I was five years old, and he gave me a beautiful watch. And, um, and they lived in Boston, and I broke it. And, my, and, he, had a, and he, was an, he, he, used to, he was an optician, and he was a jeweler. So basically, you know, he had an office in Boston. My mother was screaming at me, which, which was usual when I did something wrong. And she, she, she and I went to see him in his office, went to his office, and my mother was just, you could see her face all red. And he finally came to see us, he gave me a hug, and he said, hello, Lorraine, that's my mother's name. And he says, how are you being? He gave me a hug. My mother said, your grandson broke that beautiful watch. And he looked at it, and he gave me a hug. And then he says, thank you. My mother looked at him, she said, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? He broke the watch. And he says, Lorraine, how do you think I make my money? And then at that time, he looked at me and he said, hang on, I'll give you another watch to break. Uh, that, 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 that was the kind of grandfather that, that I had. The last story about him, which is very important to me, is when my, my, my other grandfather, who had a second grade education, who was a tough guy, very kind of person, most people, you know, he wasn't that well liked. Um, but he told me the story about he needed glasses and he went to see my grandfather, Grandpa Barry, and he went to see him and, and, and he, you know, he got fitted and a couple weeks later he went to pick up one pair of eyeglasses. But my grandfather Barry gave him three and he told him, I'm only paying for one. Grandpa Barry didn't say anything and he took the other two pairs and he, threw, and he put them in the pail. My grandpa Chick said, what are you doing with those two pairs of glasses? They, they're good. They're not good to me. So grandpa, my grandpa Chick uh, took him out, out of the pail. And he says, I'm paying for three pairs of glasses. Grandpa Barry went ahead and he put the two pairs back in the pail. He <laughs> he only paid for one. And he, he did pay for one. And my grandpa Chick told me that story. My grandpa Chick was not a person to give compliments. But for my other grandfather, that was great. Um, now, since I talked about my grandfather, 
This is my father's father. Let's talk about my father. That's a sweet man. Oh, okay. Is it, is it all right? You just say, Dad, that's great. Then you ask okay, I decided it. Okay. All right, Dad. Next story we got a request uh, is from Shana. 